Hey everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. You guys, first of all, can we believe that the end of the year is here? Like. I feel like we were just celebrating Christmas, celebrating the new year, and now the holiday season, my favorite time of year, is upon us. Like, it's just nuts. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving and, you know, just remembering everything that you are to be thankful for. If you have a breath in your lungs, you have something to be thankful for because you have life and you have a purpose. And so I just wanted to remind you of that and I hope that you had a fantastic time with your loved ones this year. So a lot of things have been going on over here. Sorry I didn't upload a video last week, but we were moving, you guys. Last week we moved into our new place and we're just getting things settled. We're gonna be painting. We are still waiting on some furniture to come. It's just been nuts, but um, yeah, it's it's truly a blessing. We are renting still, so if in case there may be some confusion, uh, we have not bought a house yet. The market is just not, it's, it's just not the time for us right now. So we're gonna be waiting to save up uh, more for down payment for any updates that we want to do we have a lot of dreams and so i hope to just share the journey along with you guys in whatever season you're in if you're working on paying off debt maybe you can use some of the saving strategies that we're going to be doing in the upcoming year um, and apply that to paying off your debt. So yeah, guys, uh, this is our paycheck budget. If you don't know, my husband, he gets paid from our company weekly and I work full time and I get paid bi-weekly. So this is a week where it was his pay um, and we're just breaking things down of how we are allocating those funds. So after we've set aside money for tithe, the remaining money that we have uh, this includes any money that is left in our bank account as well, um, which is $943.79. And so we're breaking things down by paycheck and I use the bill tracker system. So this is my bill tracker um, that I had created and we go down this column to write down what we are gonna be allocating for our larger bills um, and any other bills that we have coming up. So that's why I got these numbers. No, these are not our monthly numbers. I do not pay $300 in rent. I wish, but I do not. And so this is just what a portion of the rent payment that we are setting aside from this paycheck. And so we don't withdraw our bills in cash. We keep that in the bank account because it's more convenient for us. Uh, I know many people, they take it out in like cash envelopes and then they'll deposit it when the bill is due. That just seems like a lot of steps for me personally. Obviously do whatever works for you. I'm, I'm not shaming anybody that does that, but it just is not something that I find to be beneficial. So we just don't count that as our spending money, our available balance. So I just set that money aside and I don't touch it in our bank account and it's specifically for these bills. So total fixed expenses from this paycheck, we're allocating $505.84. This leaves us with $357.95 to put it towards variable spending and all of that. Because it was Thanksgiving week, um, we did buy items to take with us to Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, so just so you can see, grocery has a remaining of $39. I wasn't able to go and withdraw cash when we did the grocery shopping for those different ingredients. So 39 is what I have left over. Uh, so just keep that in mind for those of you who may be like, why are you only budgeting $39 for the week? We did buy some other essentials that we were out of before I was able to do this cash stuffing. So the leftover is what is going to our variable spending and our savings. My husband, he has his bank account. He doesn't do the cash system. So we're just transferring $10 from this pay. $70 for gas has been working very nicely for us for a week time frame. We actually end up having a buffer of about $10 at the end of each week and we put that towards our savings challenge which is amazing. 
So yeah, as I mentioned, 39 is what I will be stuffing for our grocery envelope and other. I don't do multiple cash envelopes. I use the one cash envelope system. Um, I am using a very small wallet and I decided to just put everything all together in my envelope but dividing it by those two. So that's been helpful and, and working really well thus far. Um, and our blessing, I'm also keeping that in my wallet to give as an offering at my church or if I see somebody that I can bless, we will do that. And then we keep $100 in our bank account as our available balance. So after all of that, the remaining is $103.95 that we will put towards our savings and sinking funds. Um, we don't have consumer debt, so we don't have to uh, focus on that part, but we do have to build back up our emergency fund and our other home savings and different things because we had to use it for our move and cover certain expenses because that is what that is there for. We didn't have to go into debt for certain things, so I do want to focus on um, our emergency fund, building that back up to where we are comfortable, uh, at least minimum three months of our living expenses. We wanna build that back up and then focus on uh, saving for our home and all of that. So from this, we're gonna allocate 25, 95 towards our emergency fund. I know it's small, but it's something. And we're just grateful that we're able to put something to our savings medical um, we don't have a health savings account just yet but i did enroll in um, new benefits for this new year and we will be getting a health savings account where the company is going to contribute and i will also contribute a small amount from my paycheck every week to go to that health savings account and that will eliminate this that way we can put that towards like our emergency fund or whatnot. And then our sinking funds, we will be stuffing $53. So that's the breakdown for our paycheck budget. And now we're gonna go ahead and see like where the money is gonna go. So the total cash that we are withdrawing is 100, that we withdrew, is $127. And this is how the breakdown is. I didn't fill in this part. I did it afterwards, but um, so this is what we will be stuffing. And let's go ahead and just get to the cash. Um, so I can go ahead and count that up. All right, so here is my little iridescent large envelope. I got this at Dollar Tree in the makeup section, you guys. So um, there wasn't a lot there, but it's super cute. And I decided to get a different color. Uh, so yeah, that's where I got it. I got a lot of questions about that. So uh, 127 is what this should be. So let's just go ahead and just count that up because why not? So we have 20, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 25, 26, and 127. And yes, I have my coffee. It's early this morning. When I am filming this, it is um, Small Business Saturday. I did not go Black Friday shopping. First thing is because I didn't have the money to do said thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just not in the budget and we have uh, a lot of things going on for Christmas that we've already paid for. So we're kind of, we're I'm not gonna say we're not doing Christmas this year, but we're not gonna be doing like gifts this year because um, the gift is just having family together that is from out of town and we paid a lot of money for where we're gonna be staying. So that's kind of our gift. We might do small things, but yeah, it just was not in the budget for Black Friday. But I have a goal that we will go Black Friday shopping next year, and I'm excited to share uh, what I have created. Um, I hope to have it up on my website, my website up and running by Cyber Monday. So when you're watching this, it is Saturday. I do plan on uploading it today. Um, so. Just keep an eye out uh, because of the move and because of a, d a bunch of different things that's been happening in my life. I haven't been able to really be on schedule for what I intended for my website to be up and running. So yeah, it's just been a lot. So I just am so thankful for all of you who have reached out to me on Instagram and just being here in the comments. It, it truly means a lot to have a, a supportive community. So we're gonna start with our wallet. So this is the wallet I was talking to you guys about. It's a mini wallet. I carry a crossbody bag. I I love like the big bags, but 
I just, it, it feels like it's in the way. I don't know if you're anything like me. I like having my hands free. I don't want to be carrying like big bulky wallets or bulky bags. I don't know. I really like the miniature wallets. It just has what I need and I have my little cash dividers. I got this from an Etsy shop. I have it linked in the description box down below, but they just fit so nicely in this wallet. Um, so if you want like the multiple envelopes or dividers, you can put, it fits just perfect. So as I mentioned, I use the one cash envelope system from Jordan Page, but because it's a large envelope to do the tracking, um, I had to fold it up and you would always see me, I would fold it and I would keep it in my crossbody bag and that worked really nice, but I just, I want to uh, be simple and um, I'll, I will keep my receipts up in here and I still do that same methodology. However, it's in the dividers. So I keep my grocery money in here and I keep my other in this miscellaneous tab or this divider. So that is, that's what I do. That's what I keep in here. So um, what is left from the week is the change. So I have change in here and I have these bills. This is the money that I did not spend from my other. So I have left five, six, seven, and eight plus the change. So the change we will take out. I'm just gonna, I'll put it in my jug in a minute and then I have some money that I have to put back to the bank for different spending that I did from our sinking funds. So yeah. Now this is all empty and we're going to go ahead and stuff these two for the week. So uh, what is left over in grocery is $39. So we have 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Thirty-five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then the other gets the twenty-five. So I still do my tracking on my Simple Budget Envelope app. I've talked about it countless times um, since I carry my phone with me all of the time. It's just easy for me to track, and it's still the same thing that I was doing with the one cash envelope system. Same thing, I just am carrying the money in a different manner. But yeah, same progress that I am doing. So that is done. Oh, I forgot about the blessing envelope. Blessing. So I have my little give is getting $10 because I carry that with me. Okay, now we're done with our wallet. Okay, and we're gonna get to our binder and I'm going to be switching things up. Let me actually move this cash to the side. So I am going to be switching up back to my confetti binder. It's just so cute and fun and I just miss the zippers. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up these and put it in this binder now just because I really like how this is. So we're just gonna switch it up real quick. All right, so we are all done switching up that binder and everything is now in my confetti binder. So let's go ahead and stuff this um, Mint Mobile. I have to put the label back on here, but Mint Mobile is getting $16. So it's unlabeled right now, but I know that that's what this is for. And car is going to get $5. Carnal has 20. Mm -hmm. 
Christmas. We're not putting anything in here. I just unstuffed this to pay towards the place that we will be staying on for Christmas. Um, so that's why there's nothing in there. Fun, we're gonna add $5. Gifts, we're going to add 10. So this is for gifts slash holidays. Um, so like since Christmas, or excuse me, since Thanksgiving just passed, um, we can take money from here as well for that. But we also have a lot of birthdays too. So I wanna make sure that we're covered. So we have one, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, and 59. And that is it for my binder. But as you can see, we have money left over. And what is this for? So the money that we did not spend from gas was $16. So this $16 is gonna be going to my 50 envelope challenge. I do it a little differently. Sometimes what people do is that they'll just pull random envelopes to every week um, to stuff. Uh, but what I like to do is just whatever money I didn't spend, I will stuff said envelope. And if I've already stuffed that envelope, then I will just maybe split it up and, and stuff a couple of them. So for this time, we have $16 and I do have a $16 envelope. So I'll go ahead and I'll just find that number so that way I can stuff that envelope. So here's the 16. And we'll just put that back. In here and because these are laminated I'll just go ahead and color this up and then we still have this money here that I didn't that we didn't spend which is the eight dollars and you can do a couple of different things with this if you want to roll it over to the next week you can do that or you can just save it so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this money And that is $8. So I'm gonna put it in this envelope. Find the $8 one. So there, we were able to stuff two envelopes for our 50 envelope challenge which is so exciting but then i have this one dollar over here and i'm excited to share with you guys something new that i will be doing for 52 weeks so this is a different box and um it's the 52 week christmas challenge so for this for 52 weeks so starting i want to have uh this money by Black Friday next year. Uh, the goal for my Christmas shopping, the goal is to save $1,000 and every envelope has a different number on it. So there's some that have $35 to save, some have 30 and there's multiple. So there's duplicates in here, but in total it adds up to $1,000. So you can go in order if you want so week one, you'll save $1, two, you'll save $2, and so on. By the 11th week, you will then be saving $15 that week. For the 12th week, you'll save 20. And then as you go down, it gets less and less. So on week 52, you will save $1 instead of $52, you know, because that might be a blow to someone's budget. So I'm just gonna start from the top and work my way down this tracker and if you guys want to participate, I will be having this up um, on my site when it launches. And I hope that it launches on 
Cyber Monday if all goes well. Um, but yeah, I am just so excited of how this all turned out. So let me just show you how the envelopes look. They're Christmas themed and they have the number on there already. So, and they're laminated. So I'm just so, so excited of how all of this turned out. And I think it's just a fun way to save and not have it be like a, a large number, you know, like a large dollar amount. And I will resize these so that way it can slip nicely in here. Cause I think I made these a little too big for them to fit in here. <laughs> so um, that will be resized, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save the $1 um, from this pay just to kind of get the ball rolling and follow along this tracker and I'm just going to be doing it every week and so if you want to join you can start any time but my goal is to have this by Black Friday next year so this is my challenge um, and I have it the backing for this but it's so I think it's so cute and fun I have other challenge ideas as well that um, I will be putting up but it really is just to slowly save um, I'm all about talking about like if you can only save one dollar that's a dollar more than what you had saved yesterday and so don't ever feel like if you can only save your change you know you're not making a difference or you're not making progress progress is progress so if you can only save your change change adds up you guys and you can use that towards um whatever it is that you need that it's kind of out of sight out of mind um, same thing with small amounts like this savings challenge here for the 52 weeks it's smaller amounts but it does add up over time and that's what i want to share with you guys here and in hopes that we can have a decent Christmas for like gift buying and stuff and participate in the whole Black Friday shopping. Honestly, I don't see myself going Black Friday shopping. I like doing shopping online or supporting small businesses in my community. So that's really what I wanna focus on for the next year is to shop local. Um, because there's a lot of small businesses in our town and we just want to support them to keep them up and running because that's how you can grow your community that you live in you know support your local communities and what better way to talk about that than on small business Saturday so uh, I think that is all that I have for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and you know you just follow me so that way you can hear when my website is actually up and running for you to get your free printables because I do have free printables over there and then um, for you to see when these will be up on that site <laughs> so everything is linked in the description box down below and that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed Hit the thumbs up button if you did, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys right here in a brand new one. Bye guys.